Welcome all. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. With Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Joining us from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. Hey, Allie. Anthony Edwards is on the rise. Carl Anthony Towns said, quote, he already has the talent. We all knew that when we drafted him, but he just wants it. And he has that thing, something you can't teach. It has to be built in. As to the ceiling, Edwards says, quote, I don't think I have one. I can be as good as anyone. Brian? Well, tremendous, Allie. Thank you. And a look at Minnesota's opening lineup. Towns and Gobert, the towering big men at the four and the five. Edwards out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Ananobi in at the three. And for the Clippers, the two-way threats of George and Leonard are the wing pair. Miles Bridges is out there with Ivica Zubac. And it's Wall in at the one. And we're in for a fast-paced game today, it seems. These teams like to get out on the break and run as much as possible, Grant. Hey, B.A., get your popcorn. There'll be a lot of speed out there, almost a track meet. Believe that. Yeah, you see, each side has a great deal of speed. Both teams will be looking to play to their strength and get easy buckets in transition. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Van Vliet. Leonard, left side. Four on the clock. Rebound by Van Vliet. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And when you look at Van Vliet on the floor, you would think he gets targeted on defense. But for a player his size, he more than holds his own. Two shots. Free throw good from Van Vliet. And Van Vliet, a very solid defender at his position, Grant. Not great length, but strong as any, B.A. I mean, he has great hands to bother the ball handler and great defensive IQ that makes the most of his athleticism. Good on both. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. George outside. Leonard for three. Drops in the three. Well, Kawhi Leonard getting to his spots, and his hands are up, ready to catch and shoot. Nicely done. Edwards, the pass to Gobert. Towns against Bridges. Back to Ananobi. Trying to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Pass to George. Back to Leonard. Knocked loose. Oh, stolen by Ananobi. It's not going to go for him. Good work defensively by Leonard. Towns against Wall. Yes, it's good. Well, the mid-range is part of John Wall's game. Very comfortable in that area. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Van Vliet against Wall. Outside Ananobi. Fires from deep. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. He's consistent from out there. Especially when you give him that kind of room. Leonard outside. Out to Bridges. Six on the shot clock. Here's Wall. They get it back. Second shot opportunity. And he sinks the layup. Wall's got his second basket of the night. Well, John Wall gets to the glass, and you love it because he's got the size and athleticism to contribute there. Minnesota's gone one or two from three-point land so far. Outside Ananobi. Back to Van Vliet. And the officials That's will green. call the illegal screen here. 
the screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Wall, the pass to Zubat. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. Here's George. Again, the Clippers score. That's what we call playing big. Call George imposing his will in the paint. Outside Edwards. Back to Ananobi. Pass to Towns. Stolen by Bridges. On up the court. The finish! Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. To see the unselfishness of Miles Bridges. Just another guy has a better shot. He's ready to move that basketball. Now here's Edwards looking for his first basket still in this one. Clock at six. Three pointer. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Well, in pick and roll action, you've got to be aggressive as a scorer. Anthony Edwards with the bucket. Pass to George. Outside wall. Here's Bridges. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. The ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Wall. Over Van Vliet. Bridges down low, covered by Towns. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. And let's take a look now at some numbers for Kawhi Leonard. Minnesota has gone two for three from outside the arc. Pass to Towns. Kicks it out to Ananobi. That one's good. And it's Towns with the assist. Ananobi's got six. Boy, just tremendous concentration on deep range. OG Ananobi is really coming along as a shooter. Leonard passes to Bridges. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Boy, guys, it wasn't too long ago that the Los Angeles Clippers were the worst team in the league. But, boy, have times changed. The Clippers are now an attractive organization for some stars. Now here's Edwards. 23 points his last outing. Shot clock at five. Here's Van Vliet. And it's all tied up. This guy is competitively tough and will not back away from physical defense. Go ahead, Fred Van Vliet. The Clippers have got six of ten attempts to fall. I mean, a true transformation of the Clippers. They were that team that stars avoided. They were, B.A., but I think that started to change back in 2011. The trade of CP3 to the Clippers, it started this new era. Then the ownership change helped it even further. And in one summer, let's remember, they signed both Kawhi and Paul George. Unreal transformation. Gets the three to fall. Well, because of his high basketball IQ, Fred Van Vliet understands catch and shoot. I'm shot ready. Jumper in. Now here's Leonard. He's got five. George, good. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. And Anobi finds Van Vliet. Leonard against Ananobi. Back to Van Vliet. The three is up. The shot misses. And Los Angeles the other way now. Last time they came together was in Minneapolis, where they fell to the Timberwolves. If they want to beat these guys this time, they have to do better on the glass. That was their undoing. Well, you have to believe the coaching staff made that a point of emphasis. Better aggressiveness, better intensity on the backboards. Leonard can't get it to go. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. And an Obi for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. And an Obi's got nine. Wow. <laughs> their opponent is doing a tremendous time out, time out. job spacing the Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They're coming off a win against the Nuggets. Sometimes it's difficult to get good looks on the road, but they ran the offense brilliantly. Well, they knew exactly how to approach that defense. They shot a fantastic percentage because they got quality looks.
group getting ready for the Clippers. Morris, he's checked in for Zubats. Batum comes in for Bridges. Herders checked in for Kawhi Leonard. And Norman Powell subbed in for Paul George. And the Timberwolves will go for a different look here. Reeds checked in for Rudy Gobert. Anderson comes in for Carl Anthony Towns. Noel, he's checked in for Anthony Edwards. And it's McLaughlin in for Van Vliet. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to Noel. Here's McLaughlin. Outside, Anderson. And an Obi for three. No good. And Los Angeles the other way now. Here's Herter. And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. And the Clippers lead by two for Minnesota. They've got six of ten attempts to fall. Outside, and an Obi. Pass to Noel. Shoots it from the high post. Batum pulls it in. Los Angeles has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Back to Wall. Now here's Powell. 4-3. Herder can't hit. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Here's McLaughlin. Another miss by Minnesota. Well, the Clippers shooting an excellent 56% in this quarter. Here's Morris. Perfect night so far. Two for two. Marcus Morris, money in the mid-range. Something you can't deny about Marcus Morris. He is a passionate player. On and off the court, this guy is highly competitive. He's a leader in the locker room. His playing style, to me, would fit with any organization. Smart and tough. Now here's Reed. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. McLaughlin. Here's Noel. Nice work on the boards, paying off with a basket. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. Outside wall. Oh, stolen by Ananobi. And here we go, the Timberwolves on the run. Oh, now that's how you finish a break. Throw it down with force. Ooh, 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 the vertical of OG Ananobi. Go ahead, sir. Finish with authority. Pass to Herder. Back to Wall. Morris with it. He's got five. Just four to shoot. Shoots over Reed. Kept alive. That's his third basket in five shots. Solid work. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Here's McLaughlin. Wall covering. And here's Ananobi. Pass to Noel. Launches a three. The Clippers grab the miss. Wall's got four rebounds now. Herder against Ananobi. And out of bounds. Minnesota will have it. Minnesota basketball. And now we take a look at the 2K leaderboard to glance at which point guards have been absolute pest on the defensive end over the last month. In the third spot, John Wall. Swiping the ball involves so much. It's reading passing lanes, understanding the offense in general, and taking high percentage risk. They do all of that. You know, I think that's the mentality they have when it comes to defending aggressive. They don't let up for one single second at that end of the floor, and they're always looking to cause you discomfort. Anderson can't get it to go. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Left side wall, inside. Powell passes to Morris. Over Reed. Morris can't hit. The Timberwolves trail. There's 42 seconds left in the first. Here's Noel. The Clippers grab the miss. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. Wall finds Herter. And good. Coming on the assist by Wall. Wall's got four assists in the game. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. Pass to Reed. Ooh, Morris with a steal. Powell for three. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. 
Uh, John Wall has an incredibly high basketball IQ, so you find the shooter and get it into their hands. A shot to stop the run. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. What a huge shot to beat the buzzer. My goodness. Well, that's the perfect end of the quarter for them. You have no idea how much of an effect those buzzer beaters can have on a team's momentum. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The Clippers ahead, leading by five. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. All right, fans, let's hear it for you. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here, the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. They've done a great job facilitating shooters. Their early game has seen a lot of hot passes and has kept the defense guessing as well. The other thing that's gone exceptionally well for them tonight is the shooting they've displayed from beyond the three-point arc. Minnesota has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. At small and power forward, it's George and Leonard. Norman Powell out there with Luke Kennard. And it's Morris in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group for the Clippers starting the second. The open shot by Edwards gets a very good look and converts. Edwards has got five. Los Angeles has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line on this one. Kennard outside. Back to Powell. George, a deep three. Rebound by Van Vliet. And so it's Minnesota with it. It's a three-point game. To the inside, Towns. And it's powered home by Towns. Well, we know that Fred Van Vliet can be relied upon to find the open man. This guy's so consistently good at it. George passes to Powell. Back to George. Shot clock at six. Gets an open look and hits it. George has gotten his third basket of the night. Well, no hesitation. The full arsenal on display here. The catch and shoot, rise and fire. Yes, Paul George. Back to Noel for three. It doesn't go for him. And Los Angeles the other way now. Here's George. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Now it's a five-point Los Angeles lead. How about the dribble drive ability of Paul George? The quick handles for a guy his size. Edwards can't hit. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Leonard passes to George. Here's Morris. That bucket makes him three for five. Well, on a healthy 235, Marcus Morris is pretty good at throwing his weight around, especially on the glass. Back to Van Vliet. Pass to Noel. Here's Gobert. No good off the back of the rim. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Powell against Van Vliet. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Defensive. How about the strength and explosive nature of Norman Powell? This guy excels at absorbing contact. First Zubac, he's checked in for Morris. At the line for LA. Line the lane. Norman line the lane. Powell. At one the shot. line for one. And legacies are defined in the playoffs. Game to game, what's the measure of greatness for a star player in your mind, Grant? Well, B.A., I think it's all about consistency. The great ones in this league historically bring it every night. They may have a bad game here or there, but for the most part, the energy, the effort, and the consistency is always there. Now here's George. Nine points in the game. Powell passes to Leonard. Here's Kennard. Fires the three, and the Clippers miss again. Minnesota's gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Back to Edwards. From downtown, the offensive rebound, and he makes it. Towns has got four points this quarter. 
it's not just the scoring productivity that makes Carl Anthony Towns great. It's his willingness to mix it up and rebound the basketball. Now here's Powell. Six points for him. Here's Kennard. He buries it from three. Kennard's got himself on the board with a three there. This is as pure a shooter as there is. You've got to stay connected or it's a problem. Van Vliet, the pass to Edwards. Now here's Gobert. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Towns gets the bucket. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. Los Angeles has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Pass to Kennard. Back to Powell from the arc. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. Absolutely Norman. critical that Norman Powell expand his range. The more he makes that three, the more the floor opens up. Van Vliet, the pass to Gobert. The kick out to Edwards. Got a piece of it. It's Powell on the wing. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Powell's got 11 points. Well, on the catch and shoot, Norman Powell ready to rise and fire. And Minnesota calls time here. And for Paul George, playing close to home on a title contending team, it's a tremendous opportunity, Greg. And back with the Pacers, he twice made the Eastern Conference Finals. But without a doubt, this is the most talented team he's ever been a part of. making a switch here. Bridges is checked in. And now let's take a look and see which power forwards and centers have been putting up the most points over the past 10 games. Third is Carl Anthony Towns. This group of big men go into every game with the mindset that no defense can guard them. And you know what? They're usually right. You know, and even with entire defenses schemed around stopping them, their scoring output always remains high. These fellas are anchors in the post for each of their teams. Now here's Van Vliet. He's got seven. Six to shoot. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to be on Miles Bridges. How about this, guys? Only the fifth undrafted player in NBA history to be named an All-Star. What you love is Fred Van Vliet every year has improved. He's fearless. He's tough. There's nothing not to like. First one at the line is good. Both free throws, good from Van Vliet. And we're in the home stretch of the season. For teams looking for a ring grant, what's important right now? Well, at this point of the year, for those teams that seriously have a chance to win it all, it's all about health. you got to get everyone across the finish line healthy and fresh and, of course, injury-free. And after that, it's all about the little things. Now here's Van Vliet. That's good from Towns on the assist by Van Vliet. Towns has got eight points. You can tell he's feeling it. Hasn't missed a single shot all quarter. 
Bridges outside. Here's Powell. Again, the Clippers score. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Outside Edwards. Here's Van Vliet. He's got nine. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Ivica Zubac. Well, Fred Van Vliet is such a crafty basketball player. At that size, you'd have to be. Nice job drawing the contact there. off on the first. John Wall, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Reed's checked in for the Timberwolves. Anderson comes in for Noel. Good on the second one. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter <laughs> and is getting them to the free throw line. Ball against Van Vliet. Pass to George. Powell outside. The three ball. Anderson pulls it down. The Timberwolves have gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. The shot is good by Edwards. Boy, that defense must be better. Anthony Edwards getting it done on the interior. Now here's Powell. Zubat's high post. It's George on the wing. Hey, now five for eight. Shooting a pretty good percentage right now. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. And Minnesota calls time here. Well, when we talk about those elite two-way threats, Paul George's name is certainly high on everyone's list. Let's hear it for your Checked in for Zubats. And the Timberwolves also making a change. And Anobi, he's checked in for Towns. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First personal foul. We know how dominant George can be on both ends of the floor doors. Well, consider he's a great scorer, a three-level scorer, and then he's able to guard perimeter and post players. That combination of size, length, athleticism, he continues to be a major threat in this league. The first free throw is good. Anthony Edwards is one of the most explosive athletes in the league. He can burn you with his perimeter jump shooting. He's dangerous in transition. And look out, folks. The upside is there. And both free throws good for Edwards. Los Angeles has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Up top wall, guarded by Van Vliet. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. 
It's going to be on Nas Reed. And sometimes that's the best you can hope for with Wall inside. Send him to the charity strike. John Wall, two shots. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And the Clippers making a change here. Herter's checked in. Second free throw, no good. When John Wall has been healthy, this guy has been a consistently solid force with his speed and the ability to get downhill. Really incredible awareness. Now here's Van Vliet. Ten points for him. Shoots over Wall. And the basket by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got 12. The Clippers in the lead. Outside Herter. Back to Wall. And he gets it to go. Four for six so far. We're talking 6'3", 210 pounds. John Wall's frame, deceptive at the lead guard position. Interior scoring is not an issue. Now here's Van Vliet. 12 points for him. Five to shoot. Free throw line jumper. And Minnesota again with a bucket. Well, it's going to take more than that to shut down Fred Van Vliet. This guy too tough, able to make contested shots. Powell passes to Bridges. And Ananobi pulls it down. All by himself, trying to step up. He's got to be frustrated with the miss. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, strength and savvy make Fred Van Vliet a tough guy to deal with inside. Gets the contact. Van Vliet, two shots. Free throw good from Van Vliet. I like his aggressive approach this quarter. Getting to the line and creating foul problems for the opposition. Morris, he's checked in for Los Angeles. The Timberwolves also with a sub. McLaughlin's checked in. Both free throws good from Van Vliet. Los Angeles has gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. Bridges outside. Outside Herter. Knocked away. Just five to shoot. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. Already it's February. Let's see how things look out west. Taking a look at the Timberwolves. They're hoping to make some moves from the number five spot before the start of the playoffs. And of course the Clippers. Only a few spots below. Seeing where the Timberwolves are, they have to be considered one of the teams to watch for in the postseason. Not many teams have accomplished more than they have this season. The veteran play of John Wall, understanding how to make the official make a call right there, draws the contact nicely done. Shooting two. And he drops the first. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. That misses, so he splits the free throws. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Here's McLaughlin, wall covering. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First personal foul. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. At the line for your Clippers, John Wall taking two shots. 
break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And so Wall nails them both. Here's Van Vliet. 16 points for him. And the Timberwolves call time here. Started. leaderboard these teams have been absolutely fantastic hitting the offensive boards fourth the Timberwolves they've poured in a lot of second chance points recently and that can be huge for your offense here's McLaughlin wall covering pass to Anderson Another miss by Minnesota. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. Now Bridges. Two minutes remain in the first half. Two minutes. Now here's Herter. Guarded by Van Vliet. Clock at four. He drops it from range. Herter's got eight. Wow. Boy, Miles Bridges showing you that he's not just a scorer. How about that pass and setup? Pass to Ananobi. A minute 35 left to play in the second quarter. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Morris has got four rebounds in the game. Here's Wall. Doesn't go for him. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Ananobi passes to Van Vliet. Here's McLaughlin. Ananobi finds Anderson. To the middle. McLaughlin's shot is good. McLaughlin's gotten his second bucket. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Pass to Batum. Outside Herder. For three, Bridges. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Here's McLaughlin. Twenty six seconds left in the second period. Down low, the kick out to Van Vliet. Counted from distance. Now just a three point clipper lead. I'll tell you, the consistency of a good first quarter leads to an excellent second quarter. Riding the wave here. Up top wall. He's got 11. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Wall's got 13. You get the sense that John Wall has found his rhythm and just understands I've got to be aggressive. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. The Clippers on top, leading by five. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. And it 
if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Oh, we're seeing a tremendous game from Fred Van Vliet. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Kicking off the second half, here's Chris Finch's five. Downs plays the four with Gobert in the middle. Edwards out there with Fred Van Vliet, and it's on an OB in a small forward. Outside Edwards, fires the three, and a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. Van Vliet's got assist number five here tonight. Van Vliet against Wall. George outside. Beyond the arc. Oh, he drains it. His sixth make and nine tries so far. Well, Paul George says, I can answer with my own big-time three-point shot. Go to work, PG. Back to Van Vliet. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. And let's see what the Minnesota Timberwolves have coming up. On Friday, they'll be matching up with LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. And then on Saturday, they continue the road trip, heading out to Sacramento to take on the Kings. And that game against Brooklyn, this is one that they expect to win. But those games can be tricky. Remember, there are no free wins in this league. Leonard finds Bridges. Zubats against Gobert. Bridges passes to Zubats. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Van Vliet on the wing. Wall covering. Count that bucket. Van Vliet's got 21. Well, we've seen consistently that Fred Van Vliet can score on the interior, even if it's against size. George passes to Wall. Back to George. Hold the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. George has got five points in the quarter. Uh, how good is Paul George at getting separation? He uses the screen perfectly and sticks it to the defense. Here's Gobert. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Ananobi can't get it to go. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. A nice start to the third. Three out of four and looking good doing it. It has to be interesting when you're bringing the ball up the court and Kawhi Leonard is the guy coming to meet you. This guy is the embodiment of an elite defender. Offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Ananobi. That's in. Coming off an assist from Towns. Three points. Towns has got his third assist of the night. Carl Anthony Towns, as a big man, is a tremendously solid passer, willing to move the basketball. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Leonard really has shown very few cracks in his defensive game over the years, Doris. B.A., I think it's a combination of things. Certainly the physical attributes. He's really long. He's got unbelievable lateral quickness. His defensive instincts and IQ are just off the charts. This guy is as disruptive a defensive force as we have seen. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Fred Van Vliet. 
and his scoring numbers have been moving in the right direction these past few years. He's continued to get better at adjusting to what opposing defenses are throwing at him, and he's finding ways to get buckets by any means necessary. Leonard for three. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. George has got three assists now in this one. Outside Ananobi. Outside Edwards. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by Kawhi Leonard. Leonard's got his fifth rebound in this one. For three, George. And the Clippers hit again from deep. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Outside Ananobi. Up top, Edwards. Shoots over George. And there's the foul. It's on Rudy Gobert. That's his first foul. How he's checked in for Bridges. The Timberwolves also with a sub. Noel's checked in. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 13 to 5 run. Leonard against Towns. Leonard's shot's good. Leonard's got five points now this quarter. And they're refusing to take a break, even with a nice lead. They just continue to attack. You have to love it. And that, to me, is a sign of excellent coaching. There's an attention to detail. There is valuing of every possession. Back to Ananobi. Oh, they get a hand on it. It's stolen by Wall. Leonard outside. Over Towns, and it's Leonard. That time on the assist by Wall. Wall's got seven assists in the game. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Clippers? Yeah, they've collected an impressive number of steals so far, using fast hands to force some turnovers, and then scoring on the other end. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. And Kawhi Leonard, one of three perimeter players to win back-to-back -back Defensive Player of the Year awards. It's him, Sidney Moncrief, and a young Dennis Rodman. Here's a group of shooting guards who are hitting the boards hard. The rebound leaders over the previous 10 games. Second is Paul George. I mean, think about it. These guards are willing to put on their hard hats and get physical on the glass. I mean, this kind of effort doesn't go unnoticed by teammates. Oh, no doubt about it. Their contributions on the glass provide their team with a huge bonus. As hard as they work on the glass, it makes things a lot easier for their teammates in the post. Lessens the load a little bit on those interior guys. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. The NBA last season celebrated its 75th anniversary and announced the 75 greatest players in NBA history, gathering the living greats during the All-Star break. A lot of history, but Commissioner Silver said, we're a pretty young league when you think about it. Brian, I guess it's all relative. Yeah, indeed. Thanks for that, Allie. Here's Noel. It's stolen by Leonard. Shoots. Rebound Minnesota. Ananobi's got four rebounds now. Outside Edwards. Here's Noel giving this team some energy. Averaging a little over 10 points a game. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Leonard. Ball for three. And it's Noel with a rebound. Hey, sometimes you miss even under the best of circumstances. George against Ananobi. Pass to Gobert. That's tipped. Zubac with the steal. 
Here's George. No good that time. Oh, nice D from Ananobi. Oh, solid D from Leonard. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Outside wall. Towns against George. Back to wall. Out to Powell. Three on the clock. And good. Coming on the assist by Wall. Powell's got 16 points now. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. And an OB against George. Outside Edwards. Tries to snap the cold streak. And Wall pulls it down. Wall's got six rebounds here tonight. Puts up the eight-footer, and he hits the jumper. Fifteen points in the game. Oh, that's a big-time move right there by John Wall. Go to work. Here's Edwards. That's his six make and 11 tries. Boy, this guy has been terrific. The rest of the team, however, struggling. Wall, the pass to Powell. George outside. Over on Anobi. George, no good. Minnesota's gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Edwards. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's on Norman Powell. Hard work pays off right there. Anthony Edwards finds himself in the paint and draws contact. At the line for the Timberwolves, Anthony Edwards shooting two. Two shots. And he makes a first. And Doris, the league has taken a much more active role in player development in the U.S. and abroad. Why now? Well, I think, B.A., what's great is it's not just player development. It's growth in the game of basketball. It's interest worldwide. I think the league's resources have obviously grown, and it is trying to make investments back into the basketball game. A true minor league, international academies. It's a beautiful thing. If you love hoops, this is great. Time, time, time called time here. Out. The Clippers decide to talk it over. Yeah, Pardon? there's something wrong with him right now have to use that timeout and get him some medical attention. It's t-shirt time, fam. Who wants one? Come on, let's hear it. Stolen by Edwards. Fast break, Minnesota. Towns for three. Kennard with the rebound. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 17-7 run. It's good. Herter's got 10. Wow, pretty pass from Powell. This guy has great instincts as a scorer. That time sets up his teammate. Pass to Noel. Here's McLaughlin. Pulls it in. 
Los Angeles has gotten four threes to fall out of five attempts here in the third. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, the athletic Norman Powell continues to grow as an offensive player. Boy, this guy has got huge upside on the offensive end. Two shots. Two shots. That free throw misses. Well, when you consider if you're trying to guard Norman Powell, the first thing you have to worry about, that quick first step. And he uses that first step with a combination of aggression and acceleration. And boy, he can get by you in a hurry. Miles Bridges checked in for the Clippers. He hits the second from the line. And you talk about Powell's athleticism. Doris, he is fearless on his drives to the bucket. I don't want to meet him at the cup, B.A., because he could put you on a poster fast. And on the other end of the floor, he's got the wingspan and athleticism to make any assignment something he is capable of handling. Here's McLaughlin. Three-pointer off the mark. The Clippers shooting really well in this matchup. 62% from the floor. Powell passes to Morris. Now here's Herter. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Noel, first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line from L.A., Kevin Herter. One shot. Minnesota has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Pass to McLaughlin. Towns for three. No good on the shot. And Los Angeles the other way now. Morris outside from deep. Here's Bridges. And it's Bridges with the jam. That's how you take care of business. Miles Bridges protects the play, finishes strong for his group. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Pass to Edwards. Here's Towns. Guarded by Morris to halt the run. Towns, that's good. Towns has got 10 points in the game. Nice job carving out a little space from medium range. Powell for three. Anderson pulls it down. Minnesota shooting a disappointing 38%. On the wing, Noel. He's guarded by Bridges. Pass to Towns. That's basket number six in eight tries. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. Herter passes to Bridges. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Bridges has got four points this quarter. I tell you, the ability to act quickly, to get your shot up as soon as you make the catch, that's beautifully done by Bridges. Pass to Anderson. Back to Noel. Clock at six. Over Herter. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Here's McLaughlin. Now covers. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for the Timberwolves. Carl Anthony Towns. One shot. One shot. And that one misses. 
Guys, certainly I admire the basketball skill of Carl Anthony Towns, but I admire as much his willingness to play through adversity over the course of his career. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Nice shot by Kennard. kennard has got five now. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Here's Minnesota. With the 10-footer. Yep, that one's good. Well, Anthony Edwards came into the league with a reputation as a scorer. He is starting to hum a little bit right here. The drive by Powell over Edwards. Oh, he beats the buzzer just in time. Wow. Big time bucket, I'll tell you. Great clock management there. Coaches talk about ending quarters. Well, you cannot do it better than that. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead. This one may have already been decided. The Clippers on top, running away with it. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And now let's listen in to Ty Lue in the huddle. Staying focused on the task at hand. Coach Lou urging his guys on. Yeah, all about focus and how you execute. When this team is playing together, they're dangerous. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Kawhi and Zubox make up the front court. Norman Powell out there with Kevin Herter. And it's George in at the three. Small forward. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Some changes for Minnesota. Reed checked in for Rudy Gobert. Moore comes in for Ananobi. And Forbes subbed in for Anthony Edwards. Shooting one. And with the G League Ignite and other youth leagues, the opportunity to go pro at a young age is there. Doris, did you see this coming? Well, we know nothing stays static in life, Brian. And I think you need to look no further than what happened for such a long time over in Europe and abroad. We'd observed that European players had an advantage where it came to skill development because they were playing pro earlier than people over here in the United States. This has helped close the gap. Offensive board, Zubac banked it in off the glass. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Pass to Forbes. Back to Van Vliet. Towns with the ball. To the paint. Reed in the post. Zubac there. Reed can't hit. For Los Angeles, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Personal foul. Well, Norman Powell knows his role, and that is to be aggressive on the offensive end. Great job drawing contact. Norman Powell at the line for two. Two shots. First one falls for him. All right, Doris, let me get your thoughts on big superstar trades where teams are trying to win championships right here, right now. I think my response would be, Brian, show me the one that's worked in recent history. Listen, it's a bold gamble. And ultimately, talent wins in this league. What you cannot set aside is you have to understand, do the parts fit together? Are they committed to team first? Are they willing to put in all the work required to win a championship? Without it, you won't win. Pass to Towns. To stop the run. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Batum's got his fourth rebound in this one. Now here's George. Not a lot of room. They double-team George. Here's Batum. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. George has got his fourth assist in this one. As good a scorer as he is, we know that Paul George is not a ball stopper. Excellent decision right there. Van Vliet finds Reed.
Pass to Moore. From outside the arc. And it's out of bounds. Last touch bounds. by Zubac. Ball the Clippers the making a switch here. Boston's Just checked in. Garza's ball. checked in for the Timberwolves. Rivers comes in for Fred Van Vliet. Pass to Reed. Well, some have said the NBA's next media deal could see franchises' values double. As a league owner, Grant, are you good with that? Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, B.A., I think I could get comfortable with that idea. I just think it speaks to the product. It speaks to how we present and package the game. There's so much excitement right now. It's a lot of fun to be a part of. It's one of the best investments in sports, the NBA. No question. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so here are the Clippers, Batum, and the three off target. For Minnesota, they've gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Here's more, and he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Personal foul. It's going to go on Paul George. Shooting for Minnesota, Wendell Moore at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Wall, he's checked in for Los Angeles. That one's no good. We've seen fans removed for inappropriate comments to players. Doris, where do you draw the line between heckling and being inappropriate? I think one way I look at this, Brian, is if I were face-to-face -face with somebody, what would I be comfortable saying? I think we should always err on the side of caution. It's okay to heckle and have some fun and sort of give your team support. But I think if we ultimately keep respect, foremost in our minds, we'll be okay. A nice shot by Forbes. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Back to Wall. Pass to Boston. Here's Livers. Down to five on the shot clock. The floater. He can't get it to go. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Here's Rivers. There's the three. Sinks the tray. Rivers. Rivers has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Well, if you are a modern NBA shooting guard, you have got to be able to shoot with range, and Austin Rivers knocks it down. Pass to Livers. Now Zubats. Jacks up a three. Reed with the rebound. The Timberwolves have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Here's Rivers. This one for three. Batum pulls it in. Batum's got five rebounds tonight. Wall, the pass to Batum. Here's Boston. Pass to Batum. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Second personal. Rebuilding a team is as challenging a proposition as ever. 
especially for smaller franchises, Doris. I think, B.A., certainly those smaller markets face some challenges that larger markets do not. But I would also point to the success of Milwaukee. They had success in their draft. They invested in your talent in terms of player development. So to build a playoff-ready team, there are so many things that must be in place, but you also have to have some luck. Nobody knew how good Giannis or Nicola were going to be. And he knocks down the first one. One of the things I admire most about Nick Patum is how consistently he gives effort through 48 minutes. Plays with his head in the game and giving his all-out effort every play. The Clippers making a switch here. Morris has checked in. And so he's able to get one of two. Minnesota's gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Forbes. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Shooting for Minnesota. Bryn Forbes. Shooting two. Shooting two. And he makes a first. And the play-in tournament has been a success. But some debate about whether the stats should count towards postseason stats. Granted, it kind of falls in the abyss. How do you think we should reconcile? Well, B.A., first of all, it is the postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high-pressure elimination games. And, yes, there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play-in tournament thus far. So I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. Outside wall. Let's it go. That one's good from Morris. On the assist from Wall. Wall's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Pass to Forbes. Back to Rivers. Here's Forbes. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Here's Batum. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. This guy's so clever at getting defenders to bite. Nicholas Batum draws the contact. Nicholas Batum taking two shots. That one misses. And the impact of international players in the NBA. It's climbing dramatically. Doris, in 1990, they played less than 5% of available minutes. Now it's more than 20%. Well, the beauty is it's not just about the increase in numbers. It's the players at the top level in the NBA. Look at the MVP race last season. The top three were all international. I love it. It's a good sign for the game. We want the best players regardless of where they're from. For Minnesota, they've gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Forbes. Let's the three fly. Knocks it down from distance. You know, the D giving him a little bit of space beyond the three-point line, and that's all the room he needs. Here's Livers. Now Wall. Six on the shot clock. Here's Batum. Oh, and Reed with a block. Here's Moore, guarded by Batum. That one's good by Moore. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. Pass to Boston. Here's Livers. Outside wall. And score it. That now makes him 7 for 11 in this game. The Timberwolves have got 5 out of 10 shots to drop here in the final quarter. Here's more. And Grant, you played on a Suns team whose training staff was renowned. 
Is that still a differentiator between teams, or has everybody caught up and on the same level now? You know, B.A., I think everyone's caught up. You know, 15 years ago, the Suns training staff was ahead of their time. But now teams are all much more sophisticated. They understand injury prevention, rest, recovery, really aiding the players, and I think adding years for players on the back end of their careers. Pass to Rivers. Pulls up, and he nails the Austin jumper. Rivers. You love seeing Austin Rivers play in the pick and roll. Very seldom will he make a mistake orchestrating this look. Here's Livers. To the inside. Here's Boston. Forbes with the rebound. Minnesota's got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. And down it goes. Two points. Forbes has got eight points in the quarter. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Pass to Livers. The teardrop goes back up. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First personal foul. Fifth team foul. You know, for team owners, it often seems best not to take too active a role in basketball decisions. But Grant, you're a team owner. How do you feel about this? Well, it's a tough situation, B.A. Many of these owners have made tremendous amounts of money building their fortunes, of course, being very hands-on with their business. But basketball is a different kind of business. Success is not always linear. And sometimes, as an owner, you're not an expert when it comes to this particular business. So it's interesting, kind of being engaged, but not being too hands-on and letting your people do their job to the best that they can. And the Timberwolves going with a whole new group out there. Both good from the line that time. For Minnesota, they've gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. Van Vliet with it. Back to Ananobi. Outside Edwards. Now here's Gobert. Hook loose. And he's all alone. He goes up. And it's Bridges with the chair. Always amongst the league leader in steals, Kawhi Leonard knows how to start a fast break. Pass to Gobert. Van Vliet with it. Guarded by Batum to the middle. Gobert. And that one drops for him. That close in against a way shorter defender, you could just put up two. Leonard, right side. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Outside Edwards. Three-pointer, no good. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. George outside. Wall, the pass to Leonard. Bridges with it. Over Towns. Bridges misses. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from if you want to command the defender's respect. Edwards against George. And the officials foul. whistle a foul on the shot. The Edwards bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. First personal foul. It's safe to say they have Third dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score Edwards says in a great the win for the Clippers. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. What's and up? this victory will put them at 36 wins on the year. And with this victory, they managed to avoid the embarrassment of getting totally swept in this season series. And propelling them to a solid win, it was a night of big plays for John Wall. He ran things with precision, great command of the offense, putting his teammates in all the right spots. Outside Herter. Just five on the clock. 
Here's Batum. The Clippers rebound. Morris hits the jump hook. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. What an impressive performance, to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. Pass to Forbes. The three. That shot off. And Los Angeles the other way now. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside Herter. Here's Boston. Takes the three. Here's Batum. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. Well, you love Nicholas Batum. Mixing it up, getting the offensive rebound put back. Nicely done. Pass to Reed. Here's Forbes. And here's Edwards outside. And they recover it. Back to Forbes. So it's the Clippers winning this one easily. Showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what. Give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She scored side. Hey, Allie. Well, Paul, this team seems to be rounding into shape. What is your sense of the chemistry right now? Really good, really good, real beneficial. It's great that we was able to pick this one up. That's what it's about. We don't care if it's a blowout or if it's a close one. We need to learn how to do both. So uh, it's great. We were able to pick this up. Good quality team win. Good luck on continuing to build that chemistry. Allie, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.